The state tournament for baseball continuing today for Cannon Dagwood. The Braves have won four straight Section 5 titles, but a state championship is still missing from their mantle. They could get one step closer this afternoon. Mike Scully on the mound for the Braves. Feeling good at Dwyer Stadium. CA taking on Kenmore West. No score in the third, two on for Joe Brinza. Fly ball finds the gap in left center all the way to the wall. Two runs come in to score. But wait, there's more. The throw to third gets by the bag. Brinza scores a little league home run. 3 0 Canandaigua. More than enough for Scully, the senior with a complete game shutout. 15 strikeouts. Braves are on to the state semis. 11 0 winners over Kenmore West. Class AA McQuaid versus Frontier. Hunter Walsh locked in. Good morning. Good afternoon, and yes, good night. Complete game struck out nine. Scoreless, though, in the sixth inning, the Bochamp connection. Ben with the sharp ground ball to third. Jack scores from third with a head first slide. Walsh did the rest after that. The Knights on to the state semis. 2 1 winners in a pitcher's duel over Frontier. In Class C, Gananda taking on Falconer out at SUNY Fredonia. Blue Panthers pitcher Tim McClair gets out of a jam in the third inning with the strikeout. Top of the fifth, big play of the game. Jaden Castrocini ropes a base hit in the gap. Zach Cypress on his horse, scores from first. 4 0 Gananda after five. McClair kept rolling from there. Complete game shot, or er, allowed one. 16 strikeouts, three hits. Gananda on to the semifinals, 4 1 winners over Falconer. The ride came to an end in the quarterfinals for two Section 5 teams. Leroy fell to Medina 10-2 to end the most successful season in Oatkin Knights history. And Honeyoy came up short in Class D. The Bulldogs finished the year with a 23-2 overall record. How about some softball? Victor softball. Three wins away from a second straight state title. Taking on Orchard Park at SUNY Brockport. Trailing 1-0 in the third. Kira Grooms grounded to short. Throw to first. Look out. Run comes in to score. It's 1-1. Stayed that way into the fifth. Grooms at the plate again. Shoots one up the middle. Allie Hoff trots home. Victor in front. Still in the fifth. Aaron Wong with a drive to left. Lands at the base of the wall. Grooms comes in to score. 3-1. Blue Devils plenty for Katie Sideri. Strikeout to end it. Victor on to the state semis once again. 3-1 winners over Orchard Park. HFL playing in the regionals for the first time in program history, taking on Williamsville East and their ace, Summer Clark. Clark helping herself out at the dish. Top of the first, dribbler to right. Kayla Terwilliger scores. one nothing Flames. Next at bat for Clark. More power on this one. Stays in the yard, but a run comes in to score. Clark at second with a double. 2-0 Will East. The Missouri commit feeling it in the circle. Five shutout innings, seven strikeouts. The number one team in the state is on to the semis. HFL falls 12-0 to Williamsville East.